Hello and welcome to this short video and it's about a self ballasted twin fluorescent light. Um, some more information about the light. This is made for demonstration purposes only. Wouldn't recommend leaving it on for any period of time as it's made of NDF. The cable's pretty unusual as well. Um, it's got black and blue. So obviously blue's neutral in the UK, so I've used blue. And then the black cable I've used as live, and it runs into this bayonet, through, under that one, and then into this fluorescent light. And then from the return of the fluorescent light, it runs to neutral. And then the other side, let's back to neutral. And then the other side is just a simple wire that runs through a starter and then to the other end of the fluorescent light. The starters are singles, FFU, see if we can get it in focus, maybe not. This is fun, yeah, there we go. F four to 65 watt, made in China like just about everything else is nowadays. Um, the fluorescent tubes, which you might not be able to read, I'll try and get it as close as possible. They're basically GE Long Last F14 840 LLTS, um, T5, sorry, not TS. And they're also made in China. They're something like high efficiency, but I don't think they've spelt it right. Uh, these are used tubes um, from a dead light fitting. Um, the light fitting comes with three tubes in and you often find them in false ceilings. And what we're going to do today is we're going to test a number of bulbs in here to get this to light up. So I've got my little test lamp and we're going to start with a LED filament bulb from your local supermarket and it is 6 watts and when it was working in the little lamp it was 27,000 K and I'm going to put it in and apart from the flash that's all you get it's not powerful enough to do anything else and then the next one we're going to try is a compact fluorescent and this is a Philips 8 watt compact fluorescent and it's soft white and when I put that one in that one does absolutely nothing but if I take it out and put it in the test lamp works absolutely fine Next one we're going to try is this one, which is a Philips 11 watt soft white compact fluorescent. There we go, nothing special. And now when I put this one in, this one does kind of work. If I stay quiet, you might hear the starter doesn't always flash though. And then after that we're going to go up the size again and we're going to try this 40 watt halogen lamp and this is also from the local supermarket and this one is 28,000 K so slightly different to the LED bulb and we'll take the LED bulb out and we'll put that one in and straight away the fluorescent light has come on and is working normally and then I'm going to take obviously this flashing one out but before I do that I'm going to try this local bulb as well from a local DIY store 70 watt halogen lamp doesn't say what K it is, but it's probably the same as the other one. Okay. 
and I believe that's come on straight away. There we go. Now, as you're probably aware, if people have done this before, the bulbs or halogen lamps are taking are in line or in series with no, yes, in series. So the power is going through the filament to the fluorescent light to stop the fluorescent lights from burning out. And you can tell also that this light is only a 40 watt, but is brighter than this 70 watt. So we'll take out the 70 watt before it gets too hot. And we'll put the other 40 in. Stick an LED back in this one. And this is the self ballasted present light flickering away. These tubes aren't new. And the wiring again. If I turn it off. And turn it on. There you go, they're both on. And once more. There we go. Not the, the old blink happy. Maybe under run slightly. But it's better under run a fluorescent light rather than burn them out. If I wanted a video of burning out fluorescent lights, I would basically just remove the bulbs and just pop them, but I'm not going to do that. Also, if I put in a bigger bulb than a 70 watt, it'll do exactly the same thing. So, this is my homemade for demonstration only twin fluorescent lights without a ballast using halogen bulbs to regulate the electricity to the fluorescent lights and that's it and thank you for watching goodbye